We love you, Wesley. Looking at my watch, think it's about that time. Yeah. Bully fam, bully fam, what it do? TBK West back with another video, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Today I'm going to grab me some progesterone tests, man. I had ran out. I've been doing a lot of progesterones. I did like four on Effie. I did two on SBK Minority. So, uh, yeah, man, boy, ran out. I also, um, I already ordered some. I'm waiting for some to come in the mail, but... I think I'm going to go grab some from Scrappies. It's the same price as everybody else. It's $90, man. Um, you can never have too many tests. You know, I do got Maya coming in heat. So, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, go ahead and uh, grab these real fast, man. And I'm not sure if Transmed. I paid for the two-day shipping. So, it might come tomorrow. Because I ordered it yesterday. And it might come Monday. I definitely can't wait till Monday. So, you know what I mean? So, yeah, boy. So grab these tests. I do not know what uh what is you know coming after because I'm just filming today, man. You know what I'm saying? So y'all hold tight, man. Let's get to it. Let me grab these tests. Uh I'll probably give Effie a definitely give Effie a test, you know, as soon as we get back just to see what her level is at, man. And uh yes, uh everything is normal with Effie too, man. She just she's still bleeding, still dripping, you know still swollen I'm pretty confident that this breeding will should go smoothly as long as i can catch her on the right day of ovulation man so yes sir let's get it man y'all hold tight all right all right bully fam um we have scrappies right here here let me show y'all thinking they're camping or something there you go we have these man i just went in there and grabbed these quick little box of progesterone tests Ninety dollars, ninety-seven dollars with tax, man. And uh, yeah, man, I didn't really want to record while I was in there, um, but bro, it's like a breeder's heaven in there, man. I'm not sure if Scrappy's got a, a website, bro, but like for for people like me that like order stuff online in the H, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes things don't be coming on time and all that. Scrappy's is the go-to. Scrappy's pet supply is the go-to spot for emergency bro they got everything in there foster care the starter dog food for royal canin uh they got the heating pads man they got a bunch of shit in there they got all the cages that you ever dreamed of you feel me they got the double door 43 inches for 280 dollars they got this dope ass metal cage i don't know the size big as fuck and split into in two and on the top, it's like a wealth and shit at the top. He said that's 600. They got everything, bro. Like, I told y'all this is where I got my little puppy cage too. My little uh, puppy pen, you feel me? So, yes indeed, yes indeed, man. The go-to spot. But anyway, man, let's get to the next part of the vid, though. All right, Billy fam, we about to do a progesterone test real quick on Effie, man. So I got her outside using the restroom. And what I do that for is because I get the dog all nice and worked up. So they, you know, their blood will be pumping and stuff like that. So it'll be easier when I'm drawing the blood, man. So let me let her in real quick. As you can see, she huffing and puffing. Yeah, see, that's what you want. You want them huffing and puffing. So when you do the, when you draw the blood, All right, y'all, so what I use is a tourniquet, one syringe. Hey, you see she huffing and puffing, so I like to use the right arm first. So the syringe, make sure that tight is on there. The tip is on there tight. The needle, is it blurry? Sure. Well, you tap the screen if it gets blurry. And then you leave a little room in the syringe like this right here, man. 
make sure when you are uh, drawing the blood, the, the hole, is, the open part of the hole is up, facing up towards you. So I just look for the vein. You can easily feel it. It's right here. And we'll go in. Y'all can see that blood is, the heart is pumping, so the blood just filled up the syringe real quick, y'all. Take the pressure off. Grab the baby wipe. Really, uh, you just need about one cc, but this is more than enough. I always like to get a little more, man, because I put two two uh, samples in the in the machine not in the actual testing machine but in the uh, damn what's the name of the thing centrifuge yeah I put two samples in the centrifuge so I can uh, I'm gonna show y'all why right now so I can try to give me the clearest sample possible All right, so she done. I'm gonna let her cool down and we go into the next stage of spinning down the blood, y'all. Let's get it. All right, Bully Fam, so the first thing you wanna do is put both of these into one of these little centrifuge tubes so it look like I ordered these by the thousand. So you wanna fill it up to just a little bit above one cc, right, right there. Bam, bam. This is my centrifuge right here. Like I told y'all, I'll do two samples. Bam, bam. Nice fresh blood. All right, and then we spin this down for about, I don't know, I said about five, six minutes. All right, now we go to the machine right here. Well, first, you gotta make sure your machine is running A1. So this is what we call the quality control test, y'all. Slide that in. So we were here, and then we switched to the quality control, then we push test. This is just to make sure everything is working on your machine. All right, as y'all can see, it says everything is normal. All right, so we put that back. All right, y'all, so when you, when you open a fresh new box, you get a chip, all right, so you got this chip that comes in the box. You got these tips for your uh, pipette, and you got these buffers. So, we're gonna slide our new chip in right here, like so. Buffers right there, boom. A new test right here. What I like to do is 
Let's see these little pipe bed tips. I like to have them all lined up right here. Bam, I'm gonna take our fresh bag of buffers. This is what you're gonna use to mix with the plasma sample. You see it has a little bit of liquid at the bottom. Yes, sir. <clears throat> All right, bully fam. So now we got everything set up the way we need it. Now let's check on our blood. Now what we're looking for when it comes to this blood is a very clear sample. Now, I don't know if y'all can see that on the camera. But the top of that is very clear. That's a good sample right there, y'all. Check the other one. Top of this one is very clear as well. Two good samples, y'all. Two good samples. Let me put some gloves on real quick. It's my little workstation, man. Also, man, I bought these too, y'all. These are the little three-way things for uh, when you're doing an AI, if you want to put air in one of the syringes so you don't have to take it out while the dog is, you know, you take this, the syringe out to add some air and then, you know, she squirts a little bit out. So these are like some little three-way valves. Bought a 10-pack, man, they, they, they work, man. They really work. Yes, sir. All right, let's get this sample, man. So this is a pipette, and y'all can see what this, those yellow things was, they go on the tip of your pipette. Make sure the sample is clear, man. If your sample is not clear, you could possibly get numbers that are higher than lower, or lower than normal. So y'all can see that's a very, very clear sample. What you wanna do is you drop your sample in the buffer, like so. Put it right here in your Vortex mixer. Let it swoosh around. Then, switch your tips. And get a fresh tip in there. Take your plasma sample, mix with your buffer. Now you got your fresh strip. This is your fresh chest strip right here. Drop it on there. Let the let the test strip, strip absorb the sample, like so. Toss that in. This is a dog, and each test take about 15 minutes, y'all. As you can see, so we'll be right back in about 15 minutes. Y'all hold tight. Anyway, y'all, this is the results. So let's get it. 8.4. So as y'all know, with this machine, the ovulation starts at 10. So I think we may be dragging into Monday or Tuesday. I most likely might tell him to send it on Saturday so to get here on Monday. But yeah, y'all, it's, it's a close one, man. We're going to see if we can make it work. I see 8.4, so I would say she'd probably be at a 10 tomorrow. And then if I was to get it on Monday, I'll be cutting it close. I don't know, we might let it drag into Tuesday, y'all. Yes, yeah, sir, depending what the uh, numbers look like tomorrow. We're gonna give her one more test tomorrow. So we did the first test on Tuesday. Not the actual first test, the first test since blood. And then today is Friday, so we just got us a, uh, I think it was at a, six or something on Tuesday, if I'm not mistaken, five point something, something like that. But right here, Friday, we had an eight. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna check tomorrow and uh, if those numbers go up just a little bit, we're gonna tell him to send that tomorrow and we'll get it by Monday, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's get it, man. Brody times Effie. Let's make it happen, man. This is you know what you got to do when you're getting your semen shit man it's like uh you know you want to cross all your t's dot all your i's um you don't want to be you know playing russian roulette 
hoping, wishing, and guessing. You know what I mean? And even when you know you do all this, it's still not guaranteed. But yeah, man, we're gonna try to make it work. Let's get it, man. Y'all keep y'all fingers crossed. Let's get it. Two thousand years later. What's good, bully fam? All right, um, it's Sunday, right? Yeah, so it's Sunday. I just did, I think, the fourth, fifth progesterone test. So I lost count. She's at a 10.64, guys. 10.64. So, uh, basically, I asked Andy over at 951 Bully Camp if he can send the semen um, tomorrow, which is Monday, and it to get here on Tuesday. Exactly two days after ovulation. Like I told y'all before, you want to breed your female in between the four-day gap of ovulation, man. It's, like, perfect. So, Yes, sir. Everything is, you know, this is like the perfect equation. All we need is my girl Effie to do her thing, man. And hopefully, you know, everything goes smooth with her, man. So, uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to do it yet, yo. Um, there's two ways. So, uh, we got take it to the vet. Let them take the uh, the, the shipment. Uh, spin it down in the centrifuge. Take the semen out the bottom and TCI it or AI it. Or um, I could, you know keep it at home and uh put some people put the semen under their armpit some people put it in a waistband um you know that's the other way of doing it i think you're supposed to let that happen for about 30 minutes and then you can just shoot it in your female along with the extender all of it mixed up together um i have had a litter like that before um so you know it, it does work, you know, the, uh, y'all know the extender is just like egg yolks and stuff, so it's, it's harmless to the female, but anyway, um, yeah, man, so, it's looking real good, man, I'm gonna keep y'all updated, uh, yeah, buddy, man, let's see, let's see if we can get to it, man, Effie Times, Brody, let's get it, alright, alright, y'all stay tuned to the next episode, man. TBK West, I'm out of here. Like, subscribe if you enjoyed this content, man. Yes, sir. Let's get it, man. Love you, Wesley. Looking at my watch, think it's about that time.